Hello, I'm Seber Wysafshar, Landscape Architecture Master's student at Stumble Technical University. Me and my colleague Sarvin will present our research, evaluation of learning rate in a serious scheme based on Anatolian cultural heritage on behalf of our co-authors. Cultural heritage is the inheritance from previous generations. This value has two types. Tangible heritage, which can be instanced as ancient objects or buildings, and the intangible, such as skills, traditions, and knowledge from the past times. However, unfortunately, the inheritance is in danger of perishing as time goes and should be preserved for the sake of future generations. The focus point of this study regarding the cultural heritage is the Silk Road, which is highly under consideration by UNESCO. This trade network was the road of merchandise as well as cultures, beliefs, and knowledge. For the caravans traveling on this road, uh, some caravan sarais were made as stopping points from the 10th century until the 19th and became vital in facilitating the journeys. For the current study, we chose Turkey's Silk Road and its Seljuk caravan sarais as a relatively under a research period of Turkey's history compared to Roman, Byzantine, and Ottoman periods. Additionally, since there is a doubt over the exact location of these caravansars, they gain more importance to be investigated. As a part of a much bigger project, this study had been started in a PhD course on Istanbul Technical University. The main objective of the class was to gather and digitalize the pos uh, positional and any other essential information of the Seljuk caravansaras on the Silk Road for further projects. The class researchers started the generation of this data set by consulting the available books, articles, maps, websites, and a project named Ultra to cover the whole caravansaras of Anatolia. We digitalized the essential data from the sources to locate the gathered caravansaras on a Google Earth project. Firstly, we looked uh, for the already existing caravansaras on a Google Earth, then locate the rest by naked eye on the satellite images or estimate their locations. In the next stage, we classified the gathered information via a four level classification method to define an accuracy-based labeling system. We entered all the information into the PostGIS online database to generate a caravansara map in the QGIS. We gathered roughly the most comprehensive available data set of the target caravansaras. Hello, I'm Sabi. As we talked about the essentiality of cultural heritage preservation, we will point out the prominent role of education in this step. Since children and youth are the most critical age group in education, we decided to target them in this conservation project due to their influence on upcoming trends. Serious games, also called educational games, serve more than pure entertainment value and deliver educational content less restrictively than traditional educational methods. Hence, we can use serious games to increase awareness of the heritage issue for the next generations. As another project of the class, we developed a serious game with the Twine platform for Iran's Safavid Caravansarais on the Silk Road and got the best presentation award at the ASCAD conference. Twine is a free and open source tool whose outcomes are published as web pages. Compared to the current game industry that involves large groups of multidisciplinary professions, with the emergence of the hypertext games generating interactive fiction, the need for a varied range of professionals is usually reduced to few authors and overpass the gap between programmers and non-programmers. Hence, Twine is an excellent sample for developing nonlinear branching games as an accessible, cost-effective, and easy-to-learn tool. The Anatolian Journey game is the extension of the Seyfuria game in the context of Anatolia and again follows the similar logic of the Oregon Trail game. The player takes on a merchant's role in the game trading among cities based on the assigned duties. 
Unlike the previous game, the player is not limited by time or health. Instead, the final score is calculated based on the duties completed and the number of coins gained by the answering questions. Moreover, as we noticed from the previous game that the players tended to ignore the provided data, we designed the game in a more engaging style, with question questions and fill in the blanks during the gameplay, forcing the player to read the data for proceeding in the game. As mentioned, this study is part of a bigger project. Hence, we included the taken images and 360 views of the intended caravanserais in our game. The player can explore the caravanserais as 360 VR through an old technology known as Ray Reboxy. We also conducted an open alpha playtest by applying an ethic form to evaluate the student's learning rate while playing the game compared to their comprehension of observing the same content in a traditional textbook. For this test, one group played the game and the other read the provided text file containing the same content as text and images and answered the same set of questions as Google Form questionnaires. The results indicate that providing cultural heritage educational data in the form of a serious game raises data retention. This implies that the players can better memorize the data encountered as in-game questions rather than raw readings. We can preserve our ancestors' souvenirs for the next generations. Thank you.